Instead, we have the opportunity to make a habit of empathy, to recognize ourselves and each other. My name is Eric Butler. I'm a um, restorative justice counselor for um, um, restorative justice for Oakland youth. I am the, um, the liaison for the high school. I work at McClyman's High School. And what are you doing here? What's uh, um, event? We're trying to organize um, the kids and, and educate them on how to, um, how to protest without violence. Um, and, it's, and, and, it's, and it works well in empathy because um, we have to kind of put ourselves in their shoes and, and, um, and find out and actually learn. I'm not, I'm not from Oakland, so I have to learn the culture and, and learn where they're coming from before I, I can even give an opinion. So you actually try to connect with them? And Absolutely. Absolutely. I do connect with them. Yeah. Oh, you do connect with them. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're yeah. good at connecting. Yeah. Kind of. I've been told, yeah. <laughs> and what is yeah. it that you do? What kind of do well, you go about empathizing? Well, um, in, in the school, I'm, I'm, I'm supposed to be teaching restorative justice to the school, but being that the school system, well, the school that I work at, they don't have counselors. So I kind of play the role as a counselor. Um, I also um, do conflict resolutions, and in that, I definitely have to find out: um, are, are you hungry? Is, is that a, could that be a reason why you're so upset? So I have to put myself in a position where I have to empathize with them, um, because and restorative justice is, is is coming from a place of empathy um, rather than um, a place of punishment. So how did you learn about empathy? Was there some lessons you learned in your life oh, that made you goodness. kind of interested in that? Well, well, actually, um, I'm, I'm a Hurricane Katrina survivor. Um, th through that process of just being angry and, 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 at, at everything that happened, I had to understand the, um, the, the government's point of view. Although I don't agree with it, I definitely had to sit back and understand um, how is it um, that there was no support for us. Well, what happened in, in, in that position? Um, my, I, I lost family members, and so I had to really take a step back in order to be able to uh, effectively uh, approach that situation um, in, in a positive way. So, so I won't be in trouble, of course. So um, you kind of learned empathy from having gone through Katrina. Well, and well I, 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 from, from living, yeah, <laughs> from 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 just from from just living day to day, um, um, being being empathetic at teachers when I was a kid, um, understanding that. Um, they have a job to do, and a lot, and oftentimes they don't have time for the one-on-one. -on -one. So, in, in, in order to be educated as a kid, I had to be um, empathetic with, um, with 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 people that was over me or was supposed to be over me. So, okay. um, what does empathy mean to you, and how would you kind of define it? I, I would probably define it simply as um, walking in somebody else's shoes, um, understanding. Uh, uh, understanding where they come from before you decide to judge, no matter how how, how concrete it seems, there's always um, layers and layers of, of 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 things that come before what you're actually seeing. And what can we do to build a culture of empathy and support empathy? Educate, educate, educate. Um, we we need to talk to the. Um, we we have a, a culture here in Oakland. Um, where, where where people don't empathize with other people, it's 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 a it's a me first type of situation here, and um, we we have to educate and and the people that know better definitely have to get out there and and not be afraid and, and talk to our kids.